Hello, my name is Joan. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome. I received two gel plates for my birthday two months ago, so I'm still experimenting with them. I will be doing a mini series here as I learn a few tricks and experiment some. I hope you will come along and try these ideas out along with me. Also, if you have any style you would like me to try out, please leave it in the comments below and I would love to give it a try for you. Today's video is me getting to know my gel plate. I will be using just my 8x10 plate. In another video, I will work with a 5x7. Here I mix up the paints on a glass from a picture frame before I put the paint on the gel plate. Today, however, I mostly mix the paints right on the gel plate itself. I roll out a thin layer of paint onto the plate and then quickly place the denim pocket on top. Then I press lightly all over, making sure to get the seams of the pocket pressed well. The more you press onto the fabric, the more paint you will pick up. This will take some practice. Next, I carefully lift the pocket off and then I let the paint dry completely before I add another color on top, which is called the pickup color. I used to roll the paint on the glass, but now I mostly mix these colors right on top of the gel plate. This also takes practice to know how much paint to use here. Too little paint and you won't be able to pick up the whole design and too much paint could ruin the whole thing also, making the paper soggy and tear. I picked up this design with watercolor paper that was in an old bound book, so I'm sorry I don't know the weight of it or if it was a cold press or a hot press. With some papers, I can feel the coolness, which lets me know that the paint is still wet underneath. Keep pressing the paper to help the painted design adhere to it. Here I am taking a little peek to see if the design is lifting. It is not all lifting, so I will keep pressing for a while longer. It is now time to reveal the wonderful outcome. I am trying to remember to show you the colors that I am using, but please experiment with any color of your choice. Here I am adding just the smallest amount of black at a time to tone down the purple for the background color. This is a good time to mix the paint on a palette of some sort. I will now carefully press this lace collar onto the plate 
to lift up some paint and leave a print. And then I will move it and replace it on another part of the plate and do the same again. Once again, it is very, very important to make sure that this layer of paint is very dry before you add the next color. For this one, I will be using rice paper of my sister's to pick up the print. I really love working with this rice paper. Here are the colors that I will be using to pick up the print. I will add just a smidgen of the red, blue, and brown to the white. Literally a double check here to make sure that the first layer of paint is dry before adding the pickup color on top. It sure is great to have a helping hand or two sometimes. Time to reveal now. Remember, this does take a little practice and patience. But let me tell you, the outcome is super wow. I am so addicted. Thank you all for being here today. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please stay tuned for next week when I will go more in depth with some leaves and make more than just two prints. And heads up, this is very addicting. See you again soon. Thank you all for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. Here are a couple of close-up pictures of the two prints that I just did here plus more that I did while I was at my sister's.